guys, good afternoon. And today I'm going to bring you a little bit of a different video. So about two weeks ago, I ended up crashing my DJI FPV drone. And this, the gimbal was completely broken. So I took the four screws right here. I took this part off right here. Um, I broke this right here too. So I kind of like exchanged it. I went ahead and got the parts from eBay. Uh, I got the gimbal. I got, um, what else did I get? Yeah, I got the gimbal cover right here. I got the gimbal cover. I got the frame where the gimbal cover goes. So I went ahead and took everything apart, put everything back together, and I turned on the, the drone. So when I turned on the drone, I got a message in the, right here in the goggles that the camera needed to be calibrated. So I went through the settings, it, it didn't fix anything. I went ahead and did a Google search and the Google search said that um, it took me to YouTube and it gave me a link that you have to actually download, which I'm going to put the link just below, the DJI Assistance do consumer series. So I downloaded that. What I did was I hooked up the drone with a USB right here to the computer. I went ahead and did a refresh firmware updates. The signal or the message was not going away. I went ahead and calibrated the camera because there's an option there to calibrate the camera going like this with the screen. So you have to go like that and you also have to calibrate the sensors on the bottom. So that actually helped a little bit. The calibration message was going in and out. So, all right. The next step was that you needed to update your DJI fly app. So I went ahead and did that and when, so you have to hook it up to your goggles, your phone, you have to make sure that you have the drone, the remote, the goggles and the phone on and the DJI Fly app needs to be also updated and on. Once you turn everything on, a message is going to come up and the message is going to be the camera needs to be calibrated. I went ahead and did that and the message disappeared. Now you're going to be asking, well, how come you didn't do the app initially? Well, I did that initially. I hooked up everything and it didn't work at all. It just didn't work. The reason why is because you have to go and activate the new camera because this is a brand new camera right here. You have to go ahead and activate it. You have to activate the camera through the DJI Assistance 2. Once you activate the camera, once you do a firmware refresh, then you can use your phone. In using the DJI Fly app. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and bring this quick video for you guys. I mean, the changing the part, changing the actual camera was not, uh, was not difficult at all. It, it, it was not difficult. You just have to be very, very careful, change everything, you know, make sure you keep everything organized put everything back together in reverse and 
then you can go ahead and turn on the the um, the drone. Now, one more thing that I wanted to include was that you need to also calibrate the gimbal. Make sure the calibration is good. Make sure you have you go ahead and calibrate the gimbal. Now, let me show you that the drone is actually working. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so this is on. I'm going to turn on my remote. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the goggles. Phone, DJI Fly app, make sure you have the latest version. Okay, so everything is on. And there is no message whatsoever. There is no message on my phone either. It says camera calibration successful. Let's go ahead and check this here. No message whatsoever. Okay. In conclusion, yes, I go, uh, well, sadly, I broke the gimbal. I broke the frame of the gimbal. I broke the gimbal cover. I went ahead and got the replacement parts from eBay. The camera was about $70. Uh, the gimbal frame was about $13. It included the gimbal cover and the frame. Um, I went ahead and put everything back together. Once you put everything back together, you need to go ahead and do the, uh, use the DJI Assistant to Consumer Series. You have to do a firm, firmware up, um, update, excuse me, refresh, because you're going to get a message stating that you need to calibrate your camera. And I believe the reason for that is because you have to actually register that camera. That camera is a brand new camera, so you have to register it. Uh, it has to be activated. Once you do all that, I went ahead and also calibrated the camera using my computer. Once you do all that stuff, go ahead and turn on your phone with the latest DJI um, firmware, a DJI Fly App firmware or version. And I don't know if you guys can see that. It says calibration was successful. So you guys can see that right there. Okay. If you guys have any questions, concerns, please let me know. I'm going to put the link of the um, software that you need. I'm also going to put the link of the parts that I bought and it's straight from eBay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.